going to show you three ways how you can take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Okay, show you three ways. Now, the first way, uh, the way 90% of you guys will probably do it, is a two key combination. All right, it's the volume down and power button. Just press both buttons at the same time and let go quickly. Okay, volume down, power. Ready, set, go. Let go. And you can see it's automatic taking a screenshot when you see that flash, and you can edit it, whatnot, or you can share it as well. And just remember, volume down, power. If you press and hold both buttons, it's going to bring up the power button, okay? So what you want to do is just press. Volume down, power. Ready? Press both, let go fast. Boom, okay? Now, every time you take a screenshot, it will be saved into your photos gallery. My photos gallery is here. But what I want to do really quickly is I just want to move this one above here. So my photos right there. So let me tap on that right there, and I'll just go to photos. And that last screenshot I took is right here. Okay. Another way to take a screenshot is the palm swipe. Okay. Now it's already it should be already be enabled by default, but just go anywhere on the screen, and then from left to right or right to left, just use your palm. Look at that. See, took a screenshot. Do it again, or you can do it from uh, from right to left as well. Do it. Let me do it again. Oop, didn't work. There we go. Okay. Now, another way you can take a screenshot, and you can use one hand, is by if you if you enable this um, assistant menu here. This little floaty thing is always on the foreground. If you just tap on that, and you can tap on screenshot. Oops, let me do it again. That little floaty thing right here. Tap on that. Screenshots right there. Boom. Okay. But you do have to enable that assistive um, touch right there. What you simply do is. We'll go ahead and go to settings first. And then from settings, we want to go ahead and go down to accessibility. Right here, accessibility. And then you want to tap on interaction and dexterity in the system menu, okay? So when you toggle that on, click on allow. This little floated thing is here. Again, tap on that. Tap on screenshot, takes a screenshot, okay? Now you can also do what's called a scrolling screenshot. So for instance, let's say I open up my Google Chrome, Google Chrome here, or I'm at a website or whatnot, and I want to take a screenshot, maybe only half of this page or a quarter of it, but I don't want to take a bunch of screenshots all the way down. So what you can do is this. Anyway, just go ahead and do a screenshot. So I'll just do the volume down power button. I'll take a screenshot. And now this bottom thing down here, the arrow, tap on that. And now you can start seeing it's you can see how much of the page that it's captured so far. And let's go one more time. Okay, let's say that's about it, what I want right there. Perfect. And again, it always gets saved to your photos gallery. Okay, so I'll go to my photos gallery here. And that last one I just took, let me go to photos here. And that's going to be under here. And I'll show you what that one looks like. So that's that long screenshot that I just took. And you can go ahead and expand it. That's one screenshot. Okay, so pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below.